Hey, what is up guys, Abhik here, back with another video. Well, it's 2016 and every device released is of Android Marshmallow. And by the way, by missing out a little bit, little bit of features, the OnePlus One does get the Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Well, how does it bear? Let's find it out in this video. Well, OnePlus One misses out in many of the features such as the, um, the biometric scanner, and uh, the heart rate sensor behind the IR blaster and many other stuff but still the Android 6.0 feels a lot more smoother and way more refined than the uh, uh, lollipop or anything else why is that? let's find it out because uh, this device was never felt this refined of an operating system for the OnePlus One even though you're in 2016 and still going for this device you're not breaking any kind of deal really now let's come from the lock screen. It's a pretty stock lock screen, same like if you get on Nexus or something, you'll be really into it. Um, the big, huge, rounded up clock, it looks way better than it was in the uh, uh, Lollipop and it's uh, way more animated. Uh, you don't get the call, instead you get the uh, uh, kind of microphone that is the Google Now launch. Uh, it launches from the home screen when you swipe it from the left and does what you want. The white swipe is a uh, regular camera and camera opens up with another thing here it's a double tap of this button now when the screen is locked you hit a double tap of this there will be a small haptic feedback and the camera will open and I'll talk about the camera a little bit later on so the lock screen is way more refined than what, what was on the lollipop and you get this mode called scrambled so you don't have you have to search for the pin and the opposite person won't be able to find it out by the movement of your hands so it's kind of really good it's way more refined as I told you this OS is completely refined so let's take a look at the other segments further on home screen on the marshmallow build is not that much of a big change from the lollipop it's just the same with 5 is to uh, 4 aspect ratio and you have the dock and you have the switchable um, on screen or capacitive buttons well, although it provides way cleaner experience, the smoother transitions and the Google Now page to the left, complete left, you have a really good status bar. Well, the status bar is completely rearrangeable and you don't have that big, bright, blocky thing on the uh, uh, straight up when you see that Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, it's uh, similarly sized. And you know, that doesn't hit your eyes every time you uh, just draw the, draw, like, the status bar. The uh, uh, whatever the notifications arrive are really well organized at this point of time. Don't know what happens to it in the future builds, and you still have that multi-user interface like guest mode and your uh, uh, like private mode of yours. And still, the settings rolls it down. A ton of animations everywhere. That animation just pops out. That's really good. And now you are able to reorganize all those tiles. That's what I like too. So you can pull this over here, you can push this back. That's what you get from uh, all these custom OS's. You don't get this on the stock Android. You never will. Um, it's kind of really difficult to uh, you know, get flaws out of this OS. There's only one flaw uh, that is really, really bad. I'm going to talk about flaws in just a minute. And benchmarking of this OS will be a separate video. I'm going to be posting that in a couple of days probably so let's move, let's move on to the settings and the app drawer app drawer is like the vertical scroll down again it is uh, based same I'm using the Google now launcher because I want the stock look of the Android everything is pretty similar to uh, the previous OS just that it's way more refined the scroll is way good it's like really really smooth you just have to uh, there's zero lag I have to tell you and the multitasking button too uh, this is the fastest of all uh, uh, OS's available for the OnePlus One. Uh, it's really fast, it's really snappy, and it's able to hold a lot of apps behind. Um, it's a really good app, I, I, it's a really good OS actually, uh, not much of a bugs or things like that. Uh, just the one bug, I'll tell, you, uh, I'll tell you that in a little bit later of time. So now uh, the app drawer is pretty simple, just the word it will scroll. Let's move on to the settings. Settings is similar, but you know the appearance-wise, the setting has improved a lot. 
now you get you get that way more saturated green color you know it, it hits with your eyes completely I'm sorry if there is a kind of a, a reddish hue because I'm using the night mode uh, it's, uh, it's in the display settings the live display you can use it I'm using it, I'm, I'm using it as the automatic because the time is them 751 uh, you can set it actually the color temperature at day is uh, as you can see it's 6.5 K nice 4.5 K that's really good all right so you can reduce power consumption again battery will be in a minute yes so you, the, the colors on the settings are really uh, way more saturated and it has to be like the marshmallow so the marshmallow stock is way similar to this so there are not much of a difference between uh, this and the stock android just that it has another cyanogen os version and the customization as uh, it's uh, a custom os so 6.1 uh, has a different uh, a theme engine it has uh, its own themes to be up its sleeve and now it has a two or four up to four i think is four doodles available of android well that's really hard to control well four of them how do you do that this way yeah yeah one okay i'm not able to control that let's leave that to a side well it's available that's available for the easter egg i never knew that it's all right okay so now the kernel version is uh, again similar to the cyanogen mod uh, like cyanogen os 12 not much of a difference the build is just 3.4 instead of 3.3 uh let's uh, that'll take that kernel version to the next level well the kernels are available i'll give you the links down below in the description box well uh, the build number you're gonna tap it like seven times to get the developer options developer options are also refined the um, uh, options are uh, way more in uh, where it had it to be well uh, it was like scrambled in um, the COS 12 but now it's completely organized properly and now coming to the battery life battery life on this device was really good for me well I can tell you that is a four hours of screen on time with huge usage actually it's not a small one it's a huge usage um, you can tell from that well, I use Wi-Fi a lot I use I uh, keep the phone on like really long time uh, like now it has given me like 1 hour 11 minutes of screen on time that's because I was I, I just kept it for the uh, charge and I, I'm just open for an hour uh, I play huge games such as the Asphalt 8 uh, and uh, multiplayer LAN games such as the Mini Militia like Dual Army 2 it's it just drains out battery pretty faster than any other games but still it gives me a whole four hours of screen on time that is excellent for a battery life yes um, if you guys have battery issues or something like that I, I, I think I'm gonna be working on the kernels to fix it once I got that I'll be giving you a flash file down below in the description box you can check it out whenever necessary um, probably in three to four days I'm gonna check how the um, build prop in this thing is so a microphone issue which was there in the previous builds are now completely gone. A wall sign engine could work from that. Really good. And a little twerks, uh, just a little twerk, um, this thing still exists. Yes. Um, uh, sometimes you get that Google to pop out. That thing no more exists now. Um, I told you this in uh, a couple of videos before, like m probably six videos before. Um, when you swipe in and want to go out and continuously press this button, the Google now pops in and pops out. That's kind of gone in Marshmallow. Ton of things and the doze mode. Doze mode is completely insanely good. Um, like it, it does is a simple feature that recognizes your phone when it's idle or when it's sitting on the desk not operating it gets uh, it gets that all from the sensors available up here and the proximity sensor on your phone will also determine it so once that is done uh, it'll activate itself and uh, stops all the background apps not uh, it's a really good feature saves a he heck ton of battery life so next next it's the bar it's the 
camera. Terribly sorry, the camera has lost completely. So, uh, whatever, the low light performance was pretty good. And now the interface has become really, uh, well, it was the same, but everything has been really shortened up. I don't know why the panorama button was really big, shortened up. Well, this was really big, the video button, shortened up. And also, the 4K DCI is gone. Why Cyanogen? Why? Okay. A 4K UHD is what you can max shoot on this thing now. Well, why did you take off the DCI? Alright, so it's still the 720p slow motion at 60fps and 120fps has been added in. That's a bump up because it's really good. 120fps will be really, really slow. And the front camera doesn't make a huge difference. It's the same and doesn't have uh, much of a big difference. Well, uh, I'm shooting on the camera now. Uh, the performance and the light is completely bad. You can still shoot up to um, the uh, like 720p HD videos. Well, again, the quality is okay. Not too much to be like blowing around. Okay, it's kind of good. And overall, how good is this OS? Well, this is for the power users. Well, the Marshmallow is for the power users because it has ton of battery features improvement and also some of the improvements like animations and you get way more of the confidence when you pull out that. And bugs. Let's come to the bugs. Just the one bug. I've ever, never ever experienced a bug, th bug in this. Well, if you get the update uh, via OTA and try to flash the um, uh, TWRP or uh, the whatever uh, Super SU, you, you might end up in a boot loop. Uh, well, there is a uh, technique for it. Go back to two, uh, two J, like 3JL, was the previous build. Or you can go back to the DAS update and uh, uh, you know flash the TWRP. And then flash the file uh, given right below in the like button, like below the like button, you'll have that fla flashable file. Just download it and flash it so that uh, that issue won't appear ever. There is a bug fix. And there is another bug which will probably irritate little people. Um, it's a DHCP Wi Fi network bug. Yes. Why? Cyanogen? Okay, that's okay. All right. Why do they do that? Uh, if the channels are way beyond 10, you'll not be able to connect to that network. Never in your life, forget it. Like my dad's network is channel 13 and this phone hesitates to connect to it. And the file which I provided in that video in uh, the CM12.1 doesn't work on Marshmallow anymore. So you have to wait till they fix that bug in the next or the future updates coming up. So. Overall, the experience on this Marshmallow is a kind of a relief. Well, everything that went wrong with the Android 5 has been fixed in the Android 6. Thumbs up for that. Cyanogen, thumbs up. Really, you've done a great job. So, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up down below. And please subscribe to the channel for more videos on tech and also the gaming. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the pretty much next one coming up. Peace out. Peace.